Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. If you're finding these videos helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Today we are talking about a Stata struggle. We're gonna talk about some tips for setting up the do file in Stata. The different sections of this do file will be timestamped below, so feel free to jump around. And really, we're just gonna work through this sample do file and talk about each section and why it's useful. So we're gonna start with this readme section. This readme section is very useful if you think you're going to come back to a certain do file later. You don't need it necessarily on every do file, but it can't hurt to have. So I just have some basic information here. I have when I made this file, what my objective was, any sort of data I used, and then here's when I put things to remember. So maybe there was something weird about, about a variable that I had to work around in my do file and I can put just the summary version of that up here. I can also put in what the goal of this do file is. Is Am I building data? Am I trying to answer a homework question? Am I doing some analysis? Those sorts of things. So that's the readme. Highly recommend on top of all of your programs. Now I've got this next section with some commands. Clear all. I just want a perfectly clear Stata window whenever I start my session. Cap log close. If I've left a log open somewhere in another program, this will make sure it's closed. But if I don't have a log open, this cap will make sure that my program keeps running. Set more off. All that does is if I have a lot of output, I don't want to keep clicking the space bar to go down the table. It'll just run through the entire table automatically. And then this set type double permanently. When I have numeric variables, I want to store it as a double. It just maintains the information better. And CLS, all CLS does is clear this results screen. Now let's move on to directory settings. As you can see by this lovely comment, it says to put all my file paths here. So I did. This file path is where I'm going to be saving everything. Don't worry so much about this global thing. We will cover that in a future Sunday Stata tip. If you haven't seen those Sunday Stata tips yet, make sure to check them out on my channel. Now I'm going to start a log for this do file. So I'm going to say log using, this is where I'm saving this log. This is the type of log. And then I'm going to read in my data, which is the auto data. Now you can see I've got a new commented section. These commented sections really help keep the do file organized. It makes it real easy to figure out what I'm doing and where I'm doing all my commands. And it is much easier to come back to. So you can see I just did some basic summary statistics, describe, summarize, then I did a quick tab. Again, these comments help organize what I'm doing even within this data diagnostics block. So then I do a scatter plot. I'm done with diagnostics, so I put a line of stars. These line of stars are comments, which means that Stata won't run them. They just ignore them. Again, only used for organization purposes. Then finally, I have this analysis section where I just do a simple regression, and that is the end of my file. So since it's the end, I should really put a log close in here, and then I'm done. So let me save that, control S or the save button. Now, another thing that I want to talk about with do files is it's real easy. I can highlight this and click control D, or I can click this do button right here and that will run whatever I've selected. And I could go through and just keep going control D with each of my lines. But the thing that I wanna note is, and that I just did incidentally, is that we wanna be able to run the do file straight through. I should be able to open this up. I should not have to highlight anything. I can click this run button right here, and it should do everything without stopping in one go. So when you're doing your do file, even though you're working a little bit at a time, you're using this command window to figure out what to do into your do file, always good practice before you turn in that do file to just open up a fresh data session and click run and make sure it runs straight through. So hopefully this was helpful. It gives you some more good tips for setting up that state of do file. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.